going on YouTube? It is your man's Mr. Dominic Cruz. And I'm Ruby. And we're coming at you with another video. Yes, another one. Another one? Another one. Another one. Another one. <laughs> uh, but what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, Ruby, what, 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 what are we talking about today? All right, today <laughs> our video is about the topic, get it together, bro. <laughs> uh, get it together. So we want to talk to you guys about some of the red flags um, that you might be displaying when you're out and about. Oh, that's a big one. You know, honestly, when you're trying to get back into the dating scene, I know some of you who watch this video, I mean, you've been single for two years, three years, or even one year and stuff like that, and you just You're just don't, ready. You're ready. You feel ready. But you're ignoring red flags that you're not even noticing. Mm -hmm. But luckily, not luckily, thankfully, you know, <laughs> Ruby and, and myself, we, we are here to actually help you get it together, bro. So, um, in this case, I'm going to ask her, you know, what red flags that she was seeking out, I mean, that she was looking at. I'm not seeking them out. No, she's not seeking them out. Don't seek red flags, all right? But, and then what does she see in a relationship when it comes to red flags? And, you know, and vice versa as well. Okay. So, and this whole thing, when it comes to red flags, um, be aware. Because if you ain't aware, then beware because you're gonna just bye so <laughs> so here's the thing Ruby let me ask mm -hmm. you this when you are out on the dating scene right mm -hmm. what are some red flags as a woman it, that you uh, that you see mm -hmm. so for me the number one thing that I see that's super like both a red flag and a turnoff I guess I guess when we call it a red flag, it's also a turn off, sure. right? I'm not like, yes, give me some of that red flag. No, I don't want any of that. So um, probably the number one thing I see is guys who are super needy. Mm. And Ooh. by needy, I mean like either they just need to touch base with me all the time, but I'm like, we are not even a thing right now. Oh. Not saying we can't be, but not at this rate. Um, they like, are blowing up my phone. Mm. Um, they, oh, this is like my least favorite. They're okay, like, go ahead. What are you up to? Oh, man. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I'm working, man. Okay, let me, let me ask you, <laughs> is this another sign of needy, though? It's like, okay. it, you guys meet, mm -hmm. and he asks if you got a boyfriend. Do you take that as like he's being needy? I'm look, it, like, like how what's can you give me a little bit more? All right, so context? here's the thing. I'm like, here's cause the you thing. can ask me, but here's the thing. I don't know. You can't be like, hey, I'm Dom. Do you have a boyfriend? Be like, um, yep. <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm, we're, we're conversating. It's just like, oh, what are you looking for? Do you have a boyfriend? Um. <laughs> that's just, you know, I'm not saying that that's not okay. That's just um, not how I would like to do it. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, to be honest, for me, here's how I kind of see it. Like, I I do want to be able to see us as, as friends before I see us as dating. Even if I'm, like, romantically... Is, is, is that yeah, you, yeah, that's exactly. It blows your mind? Well, it's like light bulb. Oh, light bulb, light bulb. <laughs> I was like, mind blown? That, I don't feel like should be new. But anyway, I want to see, um, I feel like I want to see you as my friend before mm -hmm. I see you as someone I want to date. Even if I am attracted to you, even if I do see it going there. Because why, why wouldn't you want to be friends with your partner? Exactly. So, oh my so that's Lord. that's the first thing. Um, and then Oof. number two, like, um, I mean, I guess I feel like if you ask me too early if I'm single, then <laughs> you're thirsty. <laughs> so I wish I could give you a formula, but I don't know. I, I guess I guess here's 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 my key thing. I want to feel like you appreciate my friendship mm -hmm. regardless 
of wanting to date me. Yeah. Because, you know, when, let's be real, at least as a female, this is how I feel that dudes are. And, you know, you don't have to be this way, but this is my impression. Okay. Um, I feel like when you say you want to date me, you mean something, something else. And. Mm, what you mean? <laughs> you know, I know what you're going with that one. So, <laughs> so in, when you're like, hey, what's your name? You got a boyfriend? I'm like, I do. Sorry. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I want you to see me as more than like a side piece. And, you know, every girl is different, but every girl for me, there's going to for sure be too early to ask me if I'm single or not. I think that's really general, though. I mean, I, um, I, I think that's true for most women, though. I mean, mm-hmm. I think that's that those are really two important things that um, those are two big red flags right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Get it together, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how many times I can naturally throw that in here. So. But... <laughs> You know, it, it's it's interesting because, you know, when we talk about red flags, you know, I think there was one guy, he's over in the UK, I coached him here and there, and, and I really want him to find as an, a, a, another person. We want you guys all to find we, 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 we all I want you guys to all win, but this guy I've been coaching since, like, last year. I don't coach him anymore, but he still watches my videos. However... Uh, I want to shout out because he's actually responsible with the banner, the YouTube banner. So thank you for that. But the thing is, is like when you, when you, when you meet someone, yeah, honestly, always want to approach it in a friendship. Yeah. Oh, I thought. Okay. Here's here's what probably would make me comfortable. You know, if you like did want to hang out and I thought you were cool. Like obviously, you you still have to have finesse and like getting my info and all that, but. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I thought you were cool. Then, like, we could at least, like, grab a coffee or froyo or something. You know, you know something, like, casual, like, yeah, low investment yeah, yeah. that you would do with your friend. And at that time, you know, we could be getting to know each other. And you could be like, oh, are you, like, seeing anyone right now? And I guess, I guess to me, that's definitely more casual than am I single. Yep. And my single sounds like it's common sense. maybe like too direct because I'm like, well, <laughs> what, why, why, you know, versus when you ask me like, am I seeing anyone? Then it's a little bit, then it's a little bit more open. It right? is a little bit more like, open. It could just be curiosity about me and my life but, or you could like have an agenda. I don't know. But when you ask me like, are you single? Like, <laughs> it's very directed at like, I girl, I want to know. I know, because like, every time you bring, every time you bring up, you know, someone, someone says, you single, right? I always think of that Mad TV episode of Darrell. I don't know if you've seen this. No, so what I, you? He's basically, he sees this girl and then he's in the movie theater and he's like, and he sees her from over there and he's like, Let me, me get your number. <laughs> Is that it? That's yeah. the one? That's the one. Yeah, so, that's what it feels like. And yeah. you're like, mm, so check this out. So she, so she's laid out a ton of like red flags that will help you get to that level where I'm, I'm, I'm understanding how it should really go down. I don't care what the fuck these pickup artists have to say. I don't care about what anybody else is gonna be like. You gotta go out to the nightclub. You gotta go. No. Okay. It's not, Can it's I have not... my two cents on pickup artists real quick? I'll go ahead. Tell them. <laughs> you know. All right. Let me. Let me start with the pro. Yeah, a pickup artist for sure teaches you how to be confident and how to, you know, like have some kind of success. But I think you really have to think about the quality of that success too. Because to be honest, I feel like a lot of pickup artists, they're going for girls who, you know, don't think the most of themselves. Nope. To be honest. Because... Like, what's the common one I hear? Um, that, that backhanded compliment? Yeah. I hate that. <laughs> and you know what? As someone who is really sure of myself, like, I see through that right away. And even if, like, even if we're having a good time, um, and like I don't know, I think this is I think this is a legitimate example I heard of before. Like you're like, oh, girls like wearing a cardigan, and you're like, oh, I really like that cardigan. It reminds me of my grandma's. 
and you're like I hope you have a good relationship with your grandma and even if even if you like say it in a way that's like kind of funny and we're still flirting to be honest I'm gonna be like a little bit on the defensive about it to be 100 percent no 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 seriously that's, so, that's really that's, so yeah so, the pro is for sure you're gonna get more confident and i like that sorry to cut you off yeah you're good <laughs> you're good i'm listening but <laughs> but the other thing is like for me that is a, a red flag and what's not a red flag is like oh you have a legitimate interest in me as a person and not just someone you like Trying to hang out with, yeah. <laughs> no, like no. that, yeah. I, I, it's it's totally 100% because it's like if you're not taking ownership of the whole thing and you're not taking 100% response, 100% ownership of the whole situation of seeing red flags and stuff like that, that's all on you, okay. But the whole point is like, don't be someone that's so needy. Don't be someone that's going to be. Um, don't be needy. Don't be so yeah, for real. Don't be so damn needy. Don't be so much in even need that you must have a girlfriend because if you must have a girlfriend, then you must stay single because. Because honestly, so it, true. It, yeah, if any woman wants you, if any woman wants you, right, she'll naturally come to you, and you'll naturally go to her. It's just, it, 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 it it's like sometimes you can say it's meant to be, but how you carry yourself is confidence, okay? Mm -hmm. Confidence. But don't be stupid and ignore the red flags because some of these red flags are really dangerous, okay? If someone is having trouble with their family, I mean, they don't have a stable relationship with their family. I mean, that's something that's after meeting them and stuff like that. She's pretty much painted the picture of meeting them, but you know, that's a red flag. And you know, how they treat you is basically yeah, how they true. treat others. Yeah. You know, so how do they treat you and stuff like that? That could also be a red flag or a green flag. Um, but don't be stupid and don't be so in need of being in a relationship. You, yeah, you could so, you could feel that. Girl, so, you single? <laughs> um, you know, don't be that, don't, nah. don't, don't be that dude that's like in Mad TV. Excuse me, can I talk to you for a minute? Can I have your number? Can I have it? Can I have it? You got a boyfriend? You got a boyfriend? You got the, don't, don't. That be, is what I feel, that's exactly what I feel. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Look at those red flags, okay? All those things that you, if you wrote your pros and cons and what you want in a woman. Does she want a man who's thirsty? Mm. Does she want, does she want a man who's a pickup artist? Exactly. Because look Probably at this, not. the pros and cons, those cons are your red flags. So look at those. Mm. Okay, yeah. look at those. But that is pretty much what we wanted to share with you guys and stuff like that. So I hope you guys find something valuable from this whole thing. And if you do find something valuable from this, I want you to drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share. And of course, it is your man, Mr. Dominic Cruz. And I'm Ruby. And we're coming at you with another video. Yes, another one. Another one? Another one. Another one. Another one. So check this out. In the comment section, I want you to answer this question that I'm about to ask you right now. What red flags, uh, what's your red flag? Name some red flags that uh, Ooh, that you have. That you have. Ooh. It's Put them in the comment honesty. section. Put them in the comment section. Red flags, and if you haven't got your freebie, get that too. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Later.